All right, what's up, guys? Deborah, rock star, rock girl, rock star. You are a rock star, rock girl. Uh, Jerry Hooser, Nick, Nick, dude. Big shout out to Nick. Everybody was hating on Nick, acting like he was talking about nothing. Nick was talking about something. Uh, Nick kicked down $100 through the uh, PayPal. Big shout out to him, okay? Also to uh, Allison S. And um, also to, we had uh, uh, Bobby Jean. And uh, we had, I believe, two others that I got to go back and look for. <clears throat> You guys always have to give me a break on that because you know that I'm like horrible with my short-term memory loss. We love every single one of you guys. And uh, this was actually a good enough kick down to be able to um, upgrade from the $39 phone to maybe like a $70 phone. And then we can have a backup for AT&T and then I'll get one on Telcel. Um, then we'll be all set. And I'm gonna probably get one more charging box and uh, probably get uh, uh, you know one little solar panel. So you guys obviously want to know what on earth happened. Let's just get right down to it because I don't want to hold you guys in suspense for too much longer. But let's just say it like this. Okay. I got the dress. We have disrobed him of his iconic dress. The look on his face was sad. But we were able to make it out of there without any violence. Uh, thanks to you guys for helping to calm me down along the way. Um, we'll talk a little bit of reason and sense into me, but we didn't get out without some suspense. Let's tell you how this went down. So where do we start? Um, oh, and of course, I got the rocks back. I got the treasure. I got everything. I got everything back. Uh, went and talked to homeboy and told him I was going over there. He was like, Edison, better go away. You want me to come with you? I said, nah, dog, I got this shit, dude. And really, I was like, man, I really do want you to go with me, but I don't want to sound like a sissy, right? Well, these guys actually met me at the bus station and were like, hey, we're going down there. We can handle some business and stuff, but call us if you need anything. We're going to be there, dude. We got your back, right? Big shout out to those guys. Um, so, you know, I felt like I was walking on big connected cotton on my way down there. Like, yeah, come on, mess with me, boys. So uh, we took the bus ride, which uh, I got a little bit of video to put out later. It's like the plushest bus I've ever been on, dude. DVD players, uh, reclining chairs, badass, dude. I mean, is totally awesome, right? Um, so I got to Max Kelly, got on a, uh, a taxi, ran over there real quick, threw off all my stuff in a um, uh, hotel room, and uh, split off over there to Homeboy's place. Now. I was heading to his old apartment, which is pretty easy to sneak up on because you have to go right into it. And then his uh, apartment was like doors down. So it's hidden and Plus you can hear people walking down the wood. It's like a big ass wood uh, um, hallway. So, but as I'm walking, of course I hear a yell and I look over and I see Cuervo. Cuervo's instantly like trying to play Mr. Badass, right? He's standing at the gate. Uh, he's got his whole crew behind him. Now, Cuervo's got himself into a different position there where he's at a different uh, apartment, and uh, he's also working for uh, part of his security at the gate. So it's a uh, like a prostitute drug apartments where, you know, they sell right at the gate and stuff like that, and, uh, you know, you have to pay to get in and out if you're not with, like, a, a prostitute, and then it's like a whole bunch of prostitutes there. It's crazy, right? And uh, I've seen these guys personally, like, beat down several people. They don't play, right? They've earned their spot at the end of the block uh, right there, you know, to run this, this scene, right? They are the real deal. Not guys that I want to mess with. Well, now Cuervo's sitting there, like, with them on either side. Well, actually, they weren't. They were sitting down. But Cuervo's sitting there, like, come on, guys, come on over here and shit. He's like, just come on in here and see what happens. He's like, come inside this gate. He's like, you don't want to come inside this gate. He's like, dude, we'll all kick your ass and throw you over the fence, right? and uh, leave you back there. And uh, I'm like, no, dude, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna wait for you until you come out of this fence, dude. I said, uh, if that's the way it's gonna be, but I'm getting my stuff back. He's like looking at me, right? He's just like, he's like almost in awe, right? And uh, kind of in a little bit of shock. I don't think he thought I was gonna show up that fast. He looks at me, he's like, dude, you're crazy. He's like, you realize, dude, that they kick your ass here and stuff. And he's like, and these guys got my back and I was like, yeah, I realize that, dude, but I plan on getting my stuff back. 
So he's like, all right, all right, dude, just calm down, just calm down. He's like, let's go inside, smoke a bowl, chill, you know, and uh, we'll just relax, you know? And so as soon as I go in, I see on display, laid out on display, the stones. He was trying to do whatever it was he could, have people look at him, figure stuff out. He was taking pictures for uh, eBay. He told me that uh, he was gonna try and sell them on eBay. Well, first he said that and then acted like he was joking when he said that. But um, he tried to tell me his excuse for it. I'm like, dude, what on earth was going through your mind, bro? Dude, like what, what made you think to do this? He says that uh, he thought that I abandoned him out there and stuff and left him, you know, and that he, if he took all this stuff that he knew that I would come back. Come back? What is this? Some kind of crazy, twisted domestic union? See, bro, that's the problem that we're having in this relationship is this is not a crazy domestic union, dude. Like, just listen to what you're saying. So he was totally on the uh, defensive and like, you know, please don't kick my ass, dude. Like, I swear to God, all I got to do is call for them. And like literally the three times that I started to raise my voice, he did call for him like, Tony, you know, whatever. He's, he was he was worried. He knew I was mad. He knows I'm the type of guy that is like super easy going until I show up with that crazy look in my eye. And I'm like, it's gone too far. Right. He's been around me long enough to know that. So he wanted to make everything right and everything cool. Uh, and all that kind of stuff said, you, you can have your stuff back, man. I don't want to fight over it, man. I'm not going to fight you over it. I just, I just knew you'd come back, you know, and, and get it. I just didn't think you were going to come back this fast. Right. And, uh, I was like, yeah, well, you know, obviously I'm pretty mad and that's my stuff. And you robbed me on the trail. Then I sat there and I chewed into him for about, uh, 20 minutes, uh, telling him all about how, you know, he left this legacy at the slabs of like, you know, dragging somebody around by his mule for uh, stealing from tying people to trees for stealing from, and then making his camp outside of the slabs because he wanted to get away from the thieves. And then crying to me all the time about how Mexicali would rob him. And I'm like, and here you are one of them. Like, not only that, but you were worse. You robbed a buddy out on the trail, dude. Like that's punishable by death back in the day in the old West. Right? So here they are. In all their glory, we got them back for you guys. All the fire agate. So total victory, guys. Total victory. Not only that, but the proof's in the pudding. I got the kilt. Ain't nothing fake about that. This is Cuervo's foot, iconic little dress that he loves so much and wears so much. Not anymore. He just changed his style. He just changed his style. And uh, so how I got the kilt was, is that uh, luckily he wasn't wearing it, so I didn't have to take it off of him. Uh, but it was, uh, sitting on a table and I just picked it up and I put it in my hand and I said, like, dude, I'm taking the kilt for all the, uh, the, uh, the BS, right? Cause he didn't have nothing else, right? He's already broke and I uh, didn't have anything else. So he just looks at me, right? Hey. Hold on. So he just looks at me. He's literally just sitting there like. Cause it was that standoff moment. Like it's in my possession and I've got that eye like looking at him at the eye of like, it's mine now, just come back and get it if you want to. And then he's like looking for Tony and them thinking, do I really want to call these guys for my dress? Come defend me for my dress. So he went down without a fight. He was worried. He probably heard me talk about kicking him in the knee if he acted up and he don't want none of that. That knee's all busted up. Hashtag to catch a thief and getting your stuff back, baby. I got a little bit of video uh, to edit from it that I snuck because uh, that was part of the deal. The only way for me to get out of there without getting stomped on by the guards or some BS happening. And I'll, I've got video of the area and I'll show you guys, you know, and even the guy, the guys, the guys um, was... Uh, Cuervo was all worried about me taping it and filming it and putting it on, putting him on blast on a live stream, you know, because he knows I'd do something like that. So I couldn't go in, in there. And that's the type of place you don't play. Like you don't pull out cameras there anyway at that particular building. Uh, we'll get you in trouble. So 
Uh, after that, you guys saw me cross the border then with uh, no ID and uh, went pretty smoothly. Even got a shout out from one of the uh, border agents. And now I'm just sitting here in Calexico wondering if I'm going to get that hot date that I got offered last night. I just might be getting stood up in Calexico. I don't know. Is she even in here or is she like totally hiding from us? She's like, oh my God, he for reals came, dude. I can't believe this. Like, I'm just going to hide and not answer the phone because I haven't heard from her in a while. I should, oh, there you are. He was away for a few. Miss Priswick, away for a few. Like, w w w where'd you go? You're not, you weren't going to meet me at 7-Eleven? Uh, oh my Lord. Hold up. Is she in here? Is she still going to come get me? Come on, girl. You know you want to date with a guy that you have to go pick up and stuff. And he rides in the passenger seat because he ain't got no car. How could you pass that up? I got the dumpster food and everything. Where's Taco? Taco's back at the uh, uh, back at Homeboys. He's got pens and stuff there. He's taking care of them, fatting them up. Uh, they got a lot of animals and clients in the AM. Oh my lord! Holy cow, dude! I can't remember the last time I've been stood up by a girl because I can't remember the last time I had enough balls to like, even ask a girl out. Holy cow. That's rough, Chris. You know what's gonna happen tonight. Anything that happens when I get back to Mexicali in that hotel room, that's on you, girl. That's on you. Yeah, I got the flower and everything. Well, you know, uh, that information you sent me the other day actually did have uh, an indication to where you live. Why does it look familiar around here? If I'm going to hitchhike all the way back and uh, to go get my stones back from the ghetto in Mexicali, girl, you know I can stay on this porch all month. Chris Charles me. Cal Sherp is in the house, dude. At least I always got Cal. Well, you know what though, David? At least if I'm gonna get stood up, dude, I'd rather get stood up by a hottie like her than uh, a guy like Charles. You know, I mean, I, don't, I honestly, I really don't mind Charles standing me up. I'm not gonna lie. But this one, this one's a little bit of a kick in the nuts. Sweet spot. That's probably why there's a reason why she ran. Any good Christian girl would like uh, run from this situation. Yeah, and can you believe that she actually won't? The other night she's being like so sweet and so nice, and now she won't even open her door. All right, Mary. We'll have to wait until we uh, get around some water and stuff like that. No. Look how lucky I am, guys. Uh oh, look, we're back. That's a struggle. Look, I can't even think straight. Hey, y'all. <laughs> look, I didn't get stood up here. That's nuts, dude. So, hey, Priscilla, actually, she did uh, Kevin Gibby. She's saving for the border. She was the extraction team. And uh, so, say what's up, dude. What was, how was your day? I'm good. Um, it was very exhausting. I worked all day and then waited to hear from this guy and see when I had to go pick him up. <laughs> and when she says had to go pick him up, believe me, she's not being held against your will. It was actually a free decision, wasn't it? Can we just get that part on record? Actually. <laughs> You're not under the influence of any sort of medications or anything, right? Yeah. No. Usually taking advantage of. Okay, good. You guys heard that. So, uh, we got, we got the waiver signed. So uh, how lucky am I? What a day, dude. I got to uh, go to Mexicali and uh, grab my stuff back, get a kilt. Wait, wait, wait. Are we still going to go eat? Are we still going to go eat? <laughs> I brought tacos. I brought tacos for her from Mexico. 
Okay. She's like scared to try to talk. She's like, yeah, no, I've heard all about them dog tacos. <laughs> I'm not eating those, dude. She actually told me when I told her I had tacos that she was like, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no dumpster tacos. They were actually good ones. What's going on? Uh, they're starting to go off about you. Does anyone even care about cute little doggy? Oh. <laughs> She's my like, my goodness, who said that? Cal Sherpa. <laughs> oh, geez, that's gotta be fake, Cal, dude. That's a hey, Cal, dude. Remember, uh, Family Channel, Cal. I thought you were supposed to be up in my image, not down in it. Uh, you don't want to get too involved in it because you're just gonna start acting crazy and saying weird things. But uh, what that means is, is that I'm not going to sit here and jack around with you guys too long because why would I hang out with y'all, dude, when she's here? You like that? Right. right. Would you rather just like hang out with them all night or? I don't know. Maybe. I would rather. So, <laughs> what, so what, what was the plan tonight? Uh, well, I thought we were going dumpster diving and then. Yes. <gasps> I got to yes. wear my muck boots though. Yes. <laughs> yes. She, that's. <laughs> No. She no, definitely knows the way to my heart. Um, but did you get the box of pennies? Dude, you were supposed to go with me to the bank and do it, but you got here well, too late. I got caught up fighting bandits in Mexico. No. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> uh, so who knows? Maybe that'd be for like date four, you know, do some pennies and stuff. Wow, you're taller than me. Oops, sorry about that. So uh, actually, right now. Wait, how I, tall are you? Five and a half. Three quarters actually. I'm five one and three quarters. Jeez. But she looks so much grander than like five one. She doesn't seem like, you know, like a super small tiny girl. So maybe I'm five two now. What? It's all those vegetables. All the vegetables made you grow. <laughs> She's got special genetics. She's growing late into her uh twenties. Uh oh. This is the part you don't want to do, get sucked into them. Who said that? Who said that? Slick Richards, dude, you're on timeout. Dude, I got to put my own Cal Sherpa on timeout. Uh, he's acting crazy. Oh, you guys are going to scare her off. There's like shoulder gains right there. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's so good checking out her own muscles on the camera, dude. She's like, actually, they look pretty good on camera. They say you uh, look a few pounds heavier. So, uh, before we ditch you guys, can we show them like some of the cool stuff you do? Like what you make? Uh, oh, I guess so. Yeah? She's actually going to let me in. I don't know, trick. actually. No. You don't know? Are you scared of him to see it? Maybe. She's not even going to let me off the porch, dude. I can stay on the porch. That's yeah. awesome. Well, hey, you know what? Most people don't even let me on the porch, dude. Uh, most guys, like wives, would be like, no, he's not coming even on her property. Yeah, I don't know. My dog might attack you. All right, guys, so listen, before we do head off, and uh, because I've challenged her to an Indian leg wrestling match. What? You thought I was joking. Why does she, why do you always think I'm kidding and stuff? I said Indian leg wrestling earlier. What exactly is that? She's like, well, what would we do on a date? And I was like, well, what about Indian leg wrestling or something like that, you know? Since we don't have any pennies. That's where we see if, if your I squatting legs, pennies. that's where we see if you your squatting legs are stronger than my uh, walking legs. Oh, they totally are. I believe that they are. Last time. He knows. Actually, I'm only doing this for the hopes of getting folded over backwards and hurt, you know? You've never <laughs> Indian leg wrestled? No. She's like getting scared right now. She's like, I don't know what this entails, dude, or if it's like even appropriate. But uh, let's see. You know where you like lay on the ground and you do your legs and stuff and then you like... You do your legs and stuff. Yeah, and then you catch your legs and see who's got stronger legs? No. <laughs> I've never done that. <laughs> well, let's just say it's more family than uh, Twister. I don't have that either. What's going on over here? Mm. Press arm. Oh, armbar for sure, Sarah. Done. She can show me some Muay Thai moves. A safe word? Do I have a safe word? Do you feel like you need a safe word? I think I need to go tell somebody else my safe word. She doesn't need they hear me yeah, no, she yelling she... my safe word. <laughs> the code word. <laughs> I don't think she needs a uh, safe word between like uh, having guns and Muay Thai. Pineapple. You have a safe word? Yeah, my safe word is uh, like hobo or pineapple. 
for Panaphoba. But you say that all the time. Well, I get scared a lot. <laughs> I'm like the reason they have safe spaces in the world and on campuses. My feelings get hurt here. It's so cool that you can see all of their little messages. Okay. She's in case you guys don't really know, I'm very, very new to YouTube. Like, very new. Pris Rousey. <laughs> Go, Scott. Yeah, Scott for the win. Okay, I'm definitely going to have to make my channel. Wait, 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 hold on. There's... You're going to have to make your what? My own channel so I can do this and, like, read stuff. Yeah, but that's that's where you get like uh, sucked into it, and then you end up being like causing you to sit there and go, mm, <laughs> nobody cares. <laughs> it's awesome though. Uh, no slick Richards, we didn't. This is obviously fake slick Richards. Has got to be Charles. Yeah, David, who's the luckiest hobo in the entire world? I mean, uh, I just get to even be seen on the street with her. That's awesome. She was like driving in front of. Uh, driving. Is that is that your movie time? No. Is that, which movie is that, dude? It's not. It's not my time, for sure. When she came just by, the, uh, like, just keeps on turning off. Off. When she came by the Seven uh, uh, Eleven, are you turning? And I was like, holy cow, dude, that chick's like totally hot. And then she did a U turn and took off, and I was like, oh. And I went just got down Charles. the one way street. <laughs> uh geez man uh cal's been married for a couple days and he's already turned into a dirty old married man well it looks like uh we got the win for tonight dude they're totally stoked i mean how can it get any better getting your stones back and then uh somebody actually hanging out with you i'm always so lonely it's just oh. me and taco yeah where's ty at though ty ran Is he in here shit tyron's hiding in the bushes with like an assault rifle probably <laughs> He's waiting for your safe. I have I have him on standby, guys. Don't worry. Thank God. They gotta be Ty, dude. I would let Ty uh, twist me up. Okay, so they're gonna go on and on about how very pretty you are, but we know that. So I just want to go get to know you. What do you think about that? Um, Take her to the dump. We're gonna get to know her over a dumpster dive trip. Dog <laughs> food, everything. Ty's wife just messaged me What'd saying say? your makeup looks good because you she sells. That's hilarious. Is that her makeup? Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a plug to Ty's wife. Well, you might as well just go all the way with it. What's the name of her business? Oh, gosh. Uh-oh. A lot like Heaven Beauty. Gwen Moran. Is that like online? Yeah. Like it's a lot like heavenbeauty.com? Oh, I think it's just like your Facebook and Instagram page. Cool. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> oh. Did you see that? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, Ty's wife sells makeup and it's uh, a lot like Heaven Beauty, you said? Yep. A lot like Heaven Beauty, so you guys can uh, check that out. And uh, and look what it does to you. It works very well. Hey. All right, we're totally the beauty and the beast. Herb, thank you. Herb, Herb's the one who's like, five bucks if you get her to flex her quads. <laughs> He's the one that actually sent the money that night when uh, we met each other. Is he in there right now? Uh, yeah. That? No, he's not still talking about your quads, but he's uh, talking about Beauty and the Beast. Why is it just on me? What are you doing? Why is what? The camera! They see me all the time, dude. Why do they <laughs> and then for the both of us, we're going to have to get really uncomfortably close, or we're going to do like that. Oh. So. We're going to take a selfie? Yeah, I'm sure. Actually, <laughs> much. You can I think actually you can. do that? While you're on video? Maybe not. I don't think so. Well, I can actually. Well, always, I don't know. You know more than I do. I can actually always go back and just screenshot all my favorite shots. Oh yeah, that's true. Wait, what are you doing? Uh, take her on the road. You ready to go on the road with me? I told you that was my plan. I mean, not with you, but Whoa, on the road dude. to get on the road to get yes. like, my own truck and trailer and to just exactly. Go. Love the way it just came out so smoothly though. No, she does have plans to go hit in the road, but I couldn't take her to uh, Mexico. I tried the first time, dude, to just no, rob her to Mexico. I can't do it. Y'all mash it and smash it for Miss Pris. She's totally cool, and uh, I'm glad that uh, we're going to get to hang out and um, get to know this lovely lady a little oh, bit Oh, and I got him Sour Patch Kids and Skittles Dead. Sour Patch Dead. Kids. So. 
Did you actually get those for me or are those in like your- No, I totally stash? eat those all the time for my post-workout uh, replenish the glycogen storage and stuff. Yeah, you should have seen the stuff I brought her. I brought her total bodybuilding food from Mexico. Did yeah. you actually eat any of that stuff? Sure. You like chocolate and cookies and stuff? Who doesn't like chocolate and Exactly, cookies? okay. So she's into the dumpster dive. But he doesn't pay attention cookies. when I say I'm cutting right now, so. We save them for later. It's your, uh, for, uh, you know, what do you call that? Like your cheat day? Cheat day. What do you do on cheat days? What do you eat? Everything. Everything? Just whatever looks good? Like extra large pizzas and everything. That's for awesome. Sure. Um, well, I'm, I'm ready to get rid of these guys because, uh, oh, we're they're... having so much fun. Well, you know, you can just go post it up next to the TV and they can watch us in your leg wrestle. No, no. That's All right. Not let's happening. get rid of them. All right. We'll see you guys later. Big shout out yep. to Miss Chris. Wait, it says, yep, she loves him. Who loves who? The other girl in the room. Oh. Yeah, well, it was all, they all knew it with the uh, Sour Patch Kids. Oh, crap. I can't stop chattering. I'm nervous. All I right. Like, <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Y'all have a good night.